today we're going to be doing something I don't normally do on the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video, and that is a doll unboxing video. This is one of the new Shadow High dolls. This is going to be one of a series, probably, if it does well. We're going to just jump right on into it, so without any further ado, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's talk about it. Or unbox it. Roll the intro. First, let's start with the basics. What is Shadow High? Well, Shadow High is a spin-off slash sister series of the well-known Rainbow High, which has a mini-series on YouTube, which I did a review of it. Um, and I realized that they were making a black and white series of dolls. This is a rival school in the canon to Rainbow High. And in season three, they're going to be causing some mischief. And I saw the doll designs and wow, they look amazing. So as soon as I found them on the store shelves, I had to grab the two I wanted, especially this one. This is Heather Grayson. So yeah, we're going to unbox her. Not get the glare. But this is the box, and this is actually a reversal of the Rainbow High boxes. And there is the art on the back of all the characters. This one is Natasha, Heather, Ash, Luna, I forgot her name, and Nicole. I, 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 her name starts with an S. I'll put it up on the screen if, if I actually remember to look it up when I'm done. And on the side, we have this, like, it looks like the Rainbow High box, but it looks like it's glitching, which is kind of like their thing with Rainbow High. And you see on, it says Heather Grayson, and this is her focus. She is a special effects makeup focus. And if you can see, they have a little... YouTube thing telling you where to find the show. On the box it says, Rainbow High has officially met its match. Expect the unexpected from the fine art students of Shadow High. So, one of the things I don't like, kind of like, is opening a doll. So, we're going to just go right here on the top and see what we get. Also, you're going to need scissors, so if you're a child and you're trying to open your doll, please ask an adult to help you open these because you're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need scissors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop her open and I'll come back when I kind of have her out for you guys to see the packaging and everything inside. One thing off the bat I'm already liking about the packaging from Shadow High versus Rainbow High is the fact the doll, she slides right out where they normally don't. I'm already liking the packaging. I'm already liking the packaging. So we're gonna go through and see if anything else is different. Well, it looks like the shoes want me to open them, so we're gonna just go ahead and do that. They open up like this. Let's see if these... They do, they just slide out. Thank you, MGA. Thank you, MGA, for making this a much easier process and not a living hell. Trying to feel like I'm breaking into Fort Knox. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, one thing about opening dolls is there's always this stuff on the back. With, like, tape and little notches and everything. But what I like to do is I like to just go in and carefully cut with my scissors, which might not be your thing. But where's my scissors? We're already off to a great start, guys. This is my first doll review, so I don't expect... Don't expect professionalism. <laughs> Don't expect professionalism from me. So we're just going to go ahead and get her out, and I'll come back when I'm, when I'm done getting her all out of her restraints. All right, and we're back. Now, one thing I, that I've never seen before is this card in the... in it from MGA, and it says, Thank you for purchasing our product. Please fill out the information on the back. 
and mail this card to MGA Entertainment. It's basically like a stay in the know type thing where you can get like, I guess, personalized emails and updates on things. I've never seen this in a rainbow high box, so I found that kind of interesting. Now let's look at the stand. The stand is this clear studded with like a glitter type thing. And now let's look at the outfit because this outfit is so cool. She has this like corset top. If I can get it in closer. Y'all are kind of far away from me across my table. And I have short arms. So this is weird for me, but <laughs> she has this like mesh see-through top and this little corset type cover and these snake skin, like faux snake skin. They kind of feel, they feel leathery. They do feel leathery. Oh, and it's got like the flare on it. Oh, that's so cool. They have like this flare on them. I'm going to get the pants off. So maybe it'll not be so glary. There we go. Try to get it in really close for y'all to see how like detailed these are. Like they feel like leather, like faux leather to me. And the mesh top is so pretty because it has like this embroidery, like almost snake-like embroidery. I found that really cool. Um, here's her shoes. The shoes have like this lace on the back. And again with the faux snake skin type vibe. Now let's look at the actual doll herself. I'm going to get her on her stand so y'all can see her better. Also look at her jacket. This like skeletal with the shadow high written on it. I find this jacket so cool, and it even has, like, actual laces. Like, actual laces. Are you kidding? The zippers look really good on her. I'm going to take the jacket off so you all can see her better. Uh, what is with all these rubber bands, MGA? I mean, I understand it's to d detour people from, like, taking the dolls right off the shelves, but, like, come on. Come on. But, yeah, there's another look at the jacket. I don't think it actually zips up. If it actually zipped up, I would freak out, but it doesn't. But this is more of the jacket. I really like the whole skeletal type thing. And that fits into who she is, and we're going to go into that in a second. But here she is in all her glory. This is the one doll. I said to myself as soon as I seen these dolls leak, I was like, what doll do I want the absolute most? Because I go in with this plan any time, doesn't matter what it is. If it's a doll launch, I pick out one doll and I'm like, if I could only get one, which one do I want to see on the shelf? And I said her. I said Heather because I read her bio. She is, I love her. So I'm so excited. So here she is. Here's her eyes. And she has like this... Very much in the now makeup with the um, white underlining. And her lipstick is like actually glitter. Like it has glitter in it in this studded collar. Here's her boots. I'm going to try to turn her real smooth. Cha-cha real smooth. You see there's a snake like a snake wrapped around her heel. How, how freaking cool. Now the earrings, what is going on with her hair? She has like all these like little pins and stuff in her hair. I'll see if I can get it on the black side because it has it also on the black side. There's all these pins and stuff in her hair as well as one like a hoop underneath. I don't want to well, that came out of her ear. That's a common issue with like Rainbow High is the fact that their earrings will pop out really easily. So I'm going to take these out. What do they say on it? Oh, they say shadow. They look like bones. They look like bones. It 
If my camera will focus, that would be nice. Hey. Now, a lot of people think that she might be inspired by, like, Melanie Martinez with her whole split dye going on. I kind of see it. I kind of see the influence from Melanie Martinez, but she is so cool, and her eyes are just so captivating. I think her eyes are, like, what really, like, drew me into her, as well as her personality. So I'm going to sit her right here, and I'm going to read you guys her bio. Heather Grayson may look intimidating, moody, and well gray. But what you see definitely isn't what you get. She's one of those girls that's always fun to be around and more importantly, always makes you feel included. Her kindness can leave you glowing even after a short encounter and she always offers up good advice. Heather is also fearless when it comes to voicing her opinion even when it's not what everyone else thinks. She knows how to stay true to herself. At Shadow High, she's a special effects makeup fo focus. Da -da 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 specializing in the most amazing looks. Her love for makeup and all things Halloween, one of the things that drew me in because I also am a avid lover of Halloween, <laughs> stems from her early childhood where she would curl up and watch old black and white scary movies with her grandpa. She may love a good scare, but Heather is fearless when it comes to following her dreams. Her focus is a special effects makeup focus. Fashion is described as edgy, fearless, and unique. And her catchphrase is, I like to color outside the lines. So that is who Heather is. And one of the, one, like I said, I really love her whole like bio and background because I love, also love special effects makeup. If you don't know, there was a show on, I think, sci-fi called Face Off. And it was a whole competition show where these people would compete to be like the next big special effects makeup artist. Art artist. Wow, y'all can tell I have speech issues, can you not? <laughs> but it was a show where they competed to be the next big special effects makeup artist. And it's one of the reasons why I got into cosplay and stuff in the first place was because I was like so inspired by like all the cool shit these people did. So I love everything from her focus, her love of Halloween, because same, um, black and white scary movies, Bella Lugosi as Dracula, still one of the greats. So I loved everything from her style to who she is. She's fearless, which I am not. I have social anxiety. So living vicariously now. <laughs> but she is so gorgeous. I just, I love everything. The quality. Let's talk about the quality. She's articulate in her arms. Looks like her yep, top and bottom arm. Her wrists move. Her head moves in case you want to like do some, some, uh, Regan from uh, The Exorcist, if y'all haven't seen that movie, watch it if you're of age. It's a terrifying movie, but I love it. <laughs> She's really articulated, like everything. Legs, wrists, everything moves. Now, I was going to try and get her in her second outfit, but I was having a lot of issues with this mesh top, which actually is separate from the corset from what I showed you earlier. But the hole in her hand, because she has these really pointed hands, if it'll focus. She has these like really, really pointed fingers. And I was having a real issue getting her finger, her thumb specifically, through the shirt. And I was fiddling with it for like 15 minutes. So, unfortunately, I can't show you her second outfit. Hopefully, her Luna, the next one I will be reviewing right here. I'll show you a little sneak peek of what Luna looks like. If it'll focus and work with me, that'd be nice. But I'm hoping she goes a lot better. So, you'll probably be seeing that review tomorrow because I'm gonna spread these out probably a little bit and not just like post doll content because I know most of you do not subscribe for that. <laughs> so, but this is just a little passion project of mine because I really do love collecting dolls and I've been doing it for quite some time. So that's why I'm just gonna 
post these and see how they go. <laughs> it's Again, it's random on this corner of the internet. That's why the name is The Random Show. Just saying. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get her in her second outfit. But what do I rate this doll? What do I rate Ms. Heather Grayson? I'm going to rate her a 10 out of 10. She is beautiful. She is stunning inside and out. I can't wait to see her appearance on the web sh on the web series. I I can't wait. I cannot wait to see what she looks like in the in in the series. So that's what I got for you guys today. If you feel like it, please hit the like button and let me know you liked this video. I've never done a doll review before, so if you want to give me any tips, that'd be nice. <laughs> um, I do all kinds of content. If you're just seeing me, hi. I go by randomness, Alex, whatever you want to say. Um, I talk about books, movies, anime, internet drama, pop culture stuff in general. So, yeah, it's it's random. So you'll probably find something you like. So I hope you guys liked this video, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.